Uh, tonight, uh, or today, I do have a special, very, very special message. And when a message is special, it has to be relayed to someone, because someone needs to hear it. This is a very, very fundamental message. And when I say fundamental, I mean very, very important. And the ministry of Jesus Christ. And this is how um, I'm, going to, I'm going to start it. Jesus had a, this special way of doing things. Jesus attracted sinners. There is something about Jesus that made sinners come to him for some reason. And you know what? The religious people at that time, uh, the people who were the church at the time, he quotes, they kind of like questioned that. Why does this guy go and eat and discuss and hang around sinners? They could not understand because for them, uh, holiness me meant separating yourself from people. But Jesus had a special character. Jesus attracted sinners. Jesus had a magnet that pulled sinners to him. When you read the Bible, like in the book of Luke, it says that he had, sinners came to hear him. For some reason, people came to hear the Lord. And this attraction, you know, puzzled most um, the, of the religious people at that time. And I want to talk about that particular character of Jesus Christ, the magnet of pulling sinners to himself. It's a powerful, think of a magnet. Most of us have dealt with a magnet. When you put a metal near a magnet, there is a strong pull to that magnet. Jesus had that power to just bring sinners to himself. And the reason I came in here today is because I want to tell sinners, including myself, because I am one. I am one of the sinners, and you are too. And I believe most of the people that are going to, to hear this message can relate and say, Yeah, I have, I have sinned against the Lord. But I just want to, 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 to remind us and to encourage us that there is Jesus has this strong pull. Pull, you know, he pulls us to, 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 to himself because we're sinners. And that's a very important thing to remember, that the Lord is pulling us to himself. There is that strong gravitational pull. Come to me, come to me. You are a, a heavy laden and I'll give you rest. So I want to, 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 to talk a little bit of what the Lord, on this subject that I'm, I want to deal with, he dealt with it like thoroughly, very, very thoroughly when it came to sinning and him, the Lord and him. And he gave a nice, amazing parables. And he told the religious people at that time that you guys, you have been invited to the kingdom of God, but you've been busy. You know, what you have just been, been pretending. And when you're called to come to, to repentance, you're busy. You say, I have a business to take care of. I have, I've bought like some ox, oxens and I need to take care of them. I, I, I have bought a piece of land. I need to go take care of that. I, I can't really come to, to the kingdom of God because we, they were trying to, 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 to give excuses for not coming to the Lord. And the, what the Lord said in that parable, go get everyone else who is ready to hear. And he gave an example of... The two parables that we know very well of the prodigal son and the ten lost coins. And you guys know, uh, if you can relate, there is a song that talks about reckless love of God. Because this singer realized that the love of God is reckless. And when we say reckless, we are saying without care. It's almost like don't care. And I think that's the only way the singer could, could describe the love of God. It's very reckless. Why? Because he leaves in 99 sheep in the wilderness and goes to look for that one lost sheep and the lord the lord said he rejoices over the one lost sheep than uh, then then the 99 that are not lost you know what i mean so there is a favor special favor for sinners i, I know it sounds weird but sinners have a special treatment with the lord 
Sinners have a special favor with the Lord. Jesus said that he rejoices over the one that was lost than, than the 99 that were not lost. And the woman who lost the 10 coins, she, Jesus said he calls the neighbors, he calls the friends to rejoice over the one coin that was lost, not the nine that were still safe. Why does the sinner get a special treatment? Remember the prodigal son, when he returned home, what happened to him? The, he got a robe, he, he got a ring in his hand, and he got sandals. And then the, Lord, the father, the Lord of the house, who is God the father, he commanded his servant to kill a fatted calf for him. And the other son, who was always with the father, complained. Why is he getting a special treatment? And I haven't got a treatment these many years so think about it jesus has a magnet that calls all the sinners attract sinners to himself and he's giving them a special favor even more than those who are faithful to the lord it, it's incredible right so i just came today to, to 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 tell people and to tell myself and the people online and the community that jesus is interested in you because we are all sinners jesus wants to give us a special treatment and to rejoice over us you know over us being found and I, I, actually the lord said that in heaven the angels of god rejoice over one converted sinner when one sinner repents so guys my encouragement is but before i go to the encouragement part I want to talk about one special thing that, that popped up when I was reading my Bible. That when the prodigal son came to his father and said, I just want my inheritance. I want to go away from you. The Bible says he went on a very far country. What does that denote? That denotes a huge distance, right? He distanced himself from the father. He was very far away. Sin makes us feel like the father is very far, far away. Even us who, has, who have walked with the Lord, we have sinned many times. And every time you sin, you can feel the difference. The, the distance becoming longer and longer and longer. And that distance is only shortened by repentance. Right? Remember the prodigal son said, Oh, my servants, my father's servants are getting better treatment th than me. And me here in the far, far country, I'm eating with the pigs. I'm going to go to my father and repent and say, I have sinned against heaven and you and don't even treat me like a son. Give me a lower position. Then he was humble. He was ready to repent and take a humble position, right? The moment he repented, the Bible says he came to his senses. What happened? The distance between him and the father was reduced to Hugging. Remember when the father saw him from a far distance, he went and hugged him. And, he, uh, you know, he was repenting to the father, but the father was, was kind of like not even listening. He was just so happy that the, 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 the sinner is back home. So what brings us, brings us back home or, or, or closer to Jesus Christ? Repentance. The distance you feel when you sin can only be reduced or nullified or removed by repentance so guys i do not care how far you have gone how far country you have gone from the father i do not care how many years you have walked away from the lord you might have walked with the lord 10 years ago but for some reason you slipped you 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 just just wanted to move away from the whole gospel thing like this is not my thing and you might have gone to a very far country remember far country means just distance you're you're so far away from the father you you can't even feel him he, he, he's not even real now because the distance is far too long it's called a spiritual the spiritual distance between you and god is just because of sin it's nothing else. It's only sin. But on the other hand, let me encourage you that the Lord has a magnet. His gravity, his, his gravitational force is pulling you to himself. Remember, I told you that, that, that in the beginning. 
that they complained why does this man eat with sinners and, and walk around with them because he needs you he 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 leaves a 99 if for example i am right with the lord i have nothing to repent i have repented everything the lord said those who don't need repentance are safe i'm going for those who need repentance so the lord this message may be twofold some people who are watching and those who who will watch may not need repentance because you're repented but someone needs it i just want to encourage you that it is the lord is after you the reckless love of god is chasing you he's chasing you and he's not going to stop remember what the father said to the prodigal son when he came home i just want to have a party because my son who was dead now is alive who was lost now is found there is that spiritual death that we suffer when we sin that spiritual death that spiritual spiritual getting lost that's the distance we are talking about if he never repented he would have been dead for good and and, and you you can imagine the father and his angels jesus and the lord the lord and his angels why do they rejoice when a sinner repents because god understands eternity is too long 